Hey guys, how we doing today? Um, it's uh, raining outside. I was out today hunting a little bit, foolish, foolishly hunting. Um, I have a new theory: let the white-tailed deer live. All right. Um, yeah, it's definitely uh, putting down probably about an inch and a half of rain today, and uh, just been raining nonstop since about four o'clock this morning. Anyway, on this rainy Saturday, I thought, just got the uh, new iris in the mail from 3D Robotics. All right. I'm going to try to explain briefly the simplicity of this quadcopter, okay? The first thing I want to cover in my first video, I talked about um, you know the application of the props. Okay, the props are self-threading They are color matched to the motors. You can't mess it up. Okay, you just got to remember that you don't really need to even use the wrench I used a wrench on her, but you don't have to use the wrench uh, For tightening up the props you will need the wrench when you remove the prop Okay, but the prop is self-tightening because you, um, when it I was talking to Jesse about attaching the contour now I would think for a static application, meaning the contour versus GoPro, the contour is attached to the iris in a static mode, okay? Now with the iris, it comes with an optional gimbal, which I think is, a, I mean, that's the gem of the iris, okay? But the gimbal that you buy with the iris, it has the capability of locking on an object while you're flying okay it has so many it has a lot of capabilities the only problem with the uh, that i see with the uh, gimbal is that it is specifically made for a gopro yeah all right no problem we just go out and buy a gopro right um but the whole foundation is with the gopro attached to the iris it opens up a whole new world for you as far as you know, weather photography, for any type of photography at all. Um, right now, example, with the iris and with the contour mounted to the iris in, in a permanent position, okay? All right. I physically have to turn, before I launch it, if I want to get a picture of the ground, I got to physically turn the contour towards the ground, okay? If I want to get an aerial view, I then have to move the iris in the air to the location I want to shoot. Okay, with an onboard gimbal, the camera can rotate 360 vertical up and down by simply adjusting the controls on your on your um, transmitter from the iris. Okay, these top buttons here control your camera. Onboard camera. That's all that matters. Okay. I had taken the uh, bar mount that came with the contour, all right, and I simply took the bar mount and I slid it over the um, the gimbal mount frame itself here, and I torqued her down, okay, and it works great. It's real tight, but what I may do is a precaution on the inside mount for my gimbal here is put a cord onto the gimbal mount and pull it through here. And then tie it back on itself. That way, if this were to vibrate loose, which I doubt because I've really tightened it down pretty good, okay, then, it, you know, if it came off, it would just be hanging there. Um, but what I do like about the static mount this way, again, with the contour, I can now achieve almost a vertical okay, now, position. Here's the coolest feature of all, okay, attached to my, my Android is the attachment that comes with the iris, the antenna assembly that simply hooks up to your phone, all right, and you can control your iris via your phone. And this is the coolest thing ever. I just turned this, and the app is free. I downloaded the app, and Droid Planner 2 is the app I recommend. And as you can see, that building right there is where I am. Okay, now it is, when I first fired it up, that blue dot was right on top of the building. Now, because I'm, I'm, I am indoors, so the satellite might be a little funky, but it absolutely knows your location. If I were to take this outside, 
that blue dot would be right on top of my head, you know, or, or wherever the uh, the iris is located at, okay? Now, what you do, it's got a couple of neat features. Um, you can go online, too. 3 dr Robotics has a lot of videos online explaining in detail the, uh, the quadcopter itself and its capabilities, okay? But what you can do is you can go to here, and I can say, hit the, do that, and then you can draw a survey region. You can freelance a region on your phone. Like, I can draw like that, okay? And now it's going to give me points. And then in theory, that's my flight pattern, okay? And there's a couple more steps here you have to do. But, it, but in essence, that's it. I can nail via my cell phone or my tablet, I can tell my iris what to do. We have right. the Android connected to the iris, okay? She is seeing it. She's connected to it. Now, what we want to do is instead of me walking up here and arming the iris, all right, I can simply hit the it's arm button arm. here, okay? Okay, there. I hit armed. Okay. So now it turned on the... It, when I hit armed, okay, so the quadcopter started via my cell phone here, right? That is, like, so cool. Okay. Automatic shut demo. You can, you can adjust that, okay? You can go to the parameters, and you can adjust the, um, the shut down mode, okay? But again, let's arm it again. Okay. Okay. All right, awesome. Okay, so it's telling me that so, okay there we armed it okay all right no i can disarm it right from the cell phone too I, and it tells you it's been disarmed okay that is so cool <laughs> balance was off okay so now we have it armed start the prop Now with the contour centered like that in the center, the only problem will be is the image. Um,
Now I have a gust of wind hitting it, and look how it's compensating, trying to lock it into that one spot. Rotate it a little bit, 